But it's like, I don't know, the dog's still alive. It would be much more heartbreaking if the dog was dying or dead. Are your wounds healing up? Yes, but what about Geet? Oh, it's all right. He's here with me. In spirit. He's living in the quiet lands now. In the deepest part of my body. Okay. In the deepest part of my soul. Me and Geet are connected. Is Geet alive? Of course. Do you seriously think I'd ever hurt Geet? Who was it again that was going on about killing me? Hurry it up. I believe it was Moses who saying he was going to kill the dog before we told him to put the dog in the quiet lands. Yeah, I know. Uh, we were there like two minutes ago. Or hours, or who knows how much time happens to go on in this game. Yahoo! All right, now Geet's not gonna murder anybody. Hooray. Best man. Would you like to save after that cutscene we just saw? Lumen Spring. What are we doing here? I miss that dog who was a wild animal. They could cast spells and it's horribly dangerous. <laughs> Little seedling nestled in the ground, grow up safe and sound. I can't wait till it sprouts. Time to eat, everyone. Hurry up. Or come and get it. I, I, I uh, didn't quite see. Shirley, what's your secret? I'm blonde and you're not. And also, I'm frail and sickly. So he has to like me and not you. He doesn't want a woman who can take care of herself. Hello. I'd like to know myself. Hmm, the girls are hanging out together, huh? So what are you talking about? Don't leave me out of all the fun. Hold on one second. It's our little secret, right? See? Yep, sure is. What's with that serious look? Cheryl, you just called her C, didn't you? I know it. That's my job. No one steals comic relief from me. Without it, I have no identity. See, I was serious just like you guys were, and then in order to honor my perverted professor, I became a goof. That's my character. I'm not going to be serious ever again. I mean, she's only 16, so you should be able to goof off when you're 16, but... Still doesn't stop me from thinking she's annoying as hell. Norma. I mean, I really don't care. I just don't get them. Mm, something bugging you, son? Nah, more like something that was bugging me finally worked itself out. You mean them girls? At first, I thought I had to say something, but now I realize I was just for myself, wanted to feel like I was doing something. Some responsibilities are fulfilled by taking actions, and others by standing back and staying quiet. I, I shouldn't interfere anymore. Well, I like you too, Sandal, and I'm only nine. Would you please get away from me? All right, enough serious talk here, Dad. Eat this. It's funny because our cooking hasn't improved. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm impressed you can eat that. It's worse than poison. Jay. Just kidding. <laughs> how is it? Is it good? Harriet, I really need to teach you how to, you know, cook. See, I can do it if I try. Also, you're nine. Nine-year-olds shouldn't have to cook. He should be the one cooking for her. He's the dad. Shut up and eat. Be a man. Oh, sorry. That was uh, me, Sentinel, talking. Like, kids shouldn't be made to cook dinner for their parents. That's the other way around, man. Like, if she wants to, fine. But again, you shouldn't trust a nine-year-old on a stove. Oh my, it's delicious. Will's not the only one who's amazing. 
Harriet, I really need to attend you to culinary school. Go hang out with Mimi Baker. But be careful, we're mean to her for no reason. And she probably hates us now. Jay, you better eat up quick before it's all gone. You really don't want to miss out. Jay? J Jay? Don't make me whack you with this baguette, boy. Come on, Jay. Open up and say, ah. What the hell are you doing? Oh, you know what you're opening up your mouth for. Taking care of my family. What's wrong with you? Don't be creepy like that. What was that, Jay? I didn't hear you. You're looking lively, Jay. Isn't it fun to be together with everyone? No, I hate it. All this happiness is just doesn't work for me. I bet we can thank Settle and the others for that. Now that you mention it, he's gotten a lot more human than he was in the old days. Human. I have no right to be called that. The old days. Oh, here we go with the reminiscing. You want a piece of me? No. Man, that was a crazy tonal shift, huh? One day we're having a good time and the next... Oh, look, it's that creepy dude. Who would have thought? Who said you can rest? Uh... Oh! Get up. For whom do I do all this? For me. That's right, for you. You were abandoned and I took you in. I'm even training you so you can work. Yes, sir, it's all for my sake. Then train as if your life depended on it. I have no need for someone who would betray my expectations. If you truly understand, then you're ready yourself to fight. Your training will not stop until you have mastered every last bit of it. Did your parents abandon you because you look like a clown? A creepy mime clown? Yo, Jay, you who, Jay? Little miss, would you be kind enough to bring me some of that fine home cooking? It's just bread. Everybody eats nothing but bread on this boat. Here you go, Jay. Open wide. Oh! What are you trying to kill me? Jay, would you care to look me in the eye and repeat what you just said? No. No, no, no. Oh, by the way, Jay, I've seen some dude that looks like that guy in your flashback. What's all the fuss about? Take a look at this. What is that, a leaf or something? Oh yeah, today's the Star Festival. Star Festival? You scallops don't know about it? We're not scallops. <sighs> the Star Festival is a festival. Well, <laughs> does something happen when you do that? Well, it's said that the wishes will come true. Cool! Of course, there's no guarantee that they actually will. Not cool. When the festival fire uh, fire started, when the festival first started, they probably believed pretty strongly in it. It's a very old festival. Not much is known about how it began. A wish on the water, huh? So did the humans from the other planet bring Groot with them, and that's why they're talking about the planet not being mature enough is because humans haven't been on it for that long like there's so many you know they put in all this bullshit that doesn't really matter and they don't really answer questions about lore i don't have any wishes so you'll excuse me if i pass gas jay wait what's his deal what a stick in the mud we'll just do it with whoever's interested when we want to force anybody more more May the world be at peace. That's always been my favorite wish. What are you going to wish for? May the dinner table be at peace. Wait a minute. What's that supposed to mean? What did you write, Harriet? What did you write, Harriet? Here. I'm going to make Dad enjoy my cooking. That's not a wish. That's a statement. What did you write? C. May Elsa live a happy life. Oh, you just have to be Miss Goody Goody, don't you, Born? I mean, you didn't say that about Groon. My turn. May Geet be healthy and happy. I wish for a million gold. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I dropped dead gorgeous bod. Don't sound so disgusted. It's a really serious problem for me. I haven't been growing at all lately. I'm not asking for a G girl level, but a C at least, so to speak. Leave me out of this. Besides, if you're going to shoot for someone, surely it should be groomed, not me. What? This is why I hate dealing with amateurs. You don't get it at all. Do you have any idea what it's like to be flat as a board, huh? It ain't easy, you know. G-Girl's beyond human. She's the ultimate work of art, a miracle to behold, in the realm of the gods. Do you think I could win against a god? She's like every man's dream. I mean, it's funny that she's a literal god. So me and my pancakes have to shoot for something more realistic. That's you and your seat, so shut up. Even I know there's no match you go at this point. You should really... Claude, how can you not understand the complexities of a female heart See, Unbelievable. How can I possibly calm down when you're standing there right in front of me, you... you... I wish I were like Chloe too. But no buts. I'm sure yours is pretty similar, huh, Shirley? Um uh, mine, um well. What did you write, Shirley? It's too embarrassing. Don't look. Sorry. Despicable. Ha 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 ha. I don't know, man. It's just like <laughs> hanging out with a bunch of kids. What did you write, Sennel? Oh, I wish for a new boxing glove or whatever. I always be together with my friends. Friend zoned everybody. Yeah, so? I have no personality. It's funny because she's 16 and wants boobs. It's better to be with everyone. Like, I get it. I get it. Teenagers are like that. I get it. But as someone who's going to be 34 this year, which is, like, fucking crazy to me. I don't hang out with teenagers. Despicable brother. So it's hard for me to relate. I've gotten over that shit. So watching it doesn't mimic, like, you know, that's not, like, my comedy style either. It's not like I watch this and go, ha, 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 it's just so funny being an awkward teenager. Like, I'm also, like, not a 16-year-old girl. So it's like, I can't relate to being and having the emotions of one. Senel, you really do just like sleeping anywhere. Senel, it's morning. Wake up, please. Senel, it's morning. Time to wake up. I wonder why he's sleeping on the floor. Perhaps that's his way of staying healthy. How to end up down here? Why was I sleeping on the floor? There was a pretty big earthquake last night, so perhaps you fell off the second floor and you're, like, not injured. That's not something people normally sleep through. Not normally, no. So, what's up? It's pretty unusual for you to come and wake me up. I don't quite understand myself, but apparently it's my turn. Oh, sorry. I don't quite apparently understand myself, but apparently it's my turn. That's what Norma said. When did they start taking turns? Now that you're awake, we should be on our way to Musette's house. It seems she wants, to, uh, wants to talk to us about something. Sorry. Misread the script. J, huh? Attack is 1117. His is 1081. So Sentinel isn't too much higher than him. But it just feels like Jay does no damage and his abilities don't combo very well. <coughs> like I said, he's more of a melee support. So if you're going to have him in the party, you're going to want to like really try to organize the party around him being in it. Like, his main strength is that he makes enemies weak to elemental attacks. But that shit's hella niche, especially if, you know... You're not able to cast any spells because... 
Oh, I only ate one of those. I guess we were done with that dungeon last time. I mean, you know, like going back to the conversation about what it was like being a teenager, I mean, you know, I had different wishes and shit when I was their age. Teenagers in these video games and like this video game is more like an anime than the other games are, it feels like. Because like at least the people in those games are like... I mean, I'm, I'm directly referencing this like Tales of a Spear, which was just like everybody was just older in that one, so it felt more natural. But like, you know... So many of these games' plots revolve around everybody being, like, in their late to mid-teens, and it's, like, unrealistic, because, you know, of course it's unrealistic. It's a video game. I get it. Spirit robe. Still haven't found a unicorn horn. <whistles> but what I was saying was... It's like these guys are teenagers, quote unquote, but they behave and act like adults, which is like, I don't know. That's not how it was for me growing up. In some ways it was, I mean, uh, because my dad was a drug addict, like he wasn't around for a lot of our childhood. Like, physically he wasn't around for a lot of it, but mentally he also wasn't around for a lot of it. Because I think... I don't know, the doctors say that he had schizophrenia, so... He would use narcotics to, like, dull his, his symptoms and to be quote-unquote normal. But, like... You know, I had to take care of me and my sister a lot of the times. So... I can relate to something like that. But, like, I was still kind of allowed to be a kid because, you know, when my mom got home, like, it was kind of normal. We all did the best we could to have a normal life. Quote unquote normal. I know normal, whatever, but I say normal. I'm not going to censor myself. Only because one of my moderators hates the word normal, so don't use that word. But I'm going to use it because normal is defined by how you choose to define it. So I'm choosing it to define what our normal was. And it was normal for us to have only one parent around making all the money while the other one was cracked out somewhere. And I envy other people's version of normal for sure. So why is the Empress here? Tell them, Isabella. A certain group of assassins has infiltrated the legacy. What? Assassins? Could it be that weirdo that I saw? We've received several reports in the last few days. I don't like the sound of that. Let's get rid of those guys pronto. Why not? Can't we just murder them? By the way, there's a war criminal on board. He's the current alchemist. Is anybody planning on doing anything about this? Just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, some sort of special forces, like the one in Vaklov's army? No, worse than that. They're ninjas. Oh, crap. Ninjas. Ninjas. Ninjas? What's a ninja? This ain't Earth. Are you serious, Red? How am I supposed to know what a ninja is? Ninjas are assassins who hide in the shadows and act only for the sake of their mission. They cast aside all personal emotions and focus on nothing but the successful execution of their orders. That's our JJ. He knows everything. Well, I kind of know because I am one. What makes ninjas so fearsome is that they don't even value their own lives. They'll sacrifice themselves without a second thought if they deem it necessary to complete their assignment. Seriously? Yes, what Jay says is true. Although it's weird that you know. 
he knows all this. Ninjas are like machines. They're no longer human. Jeez. Sorry to darken the mood. Dark like my soul. So some country hired them and sent them here. They're quite adept at keeping secrets. We still don't know who is who it is that hired them. What do they want? Is there something they want to kill or something? Someone, I should say. Moses, your idiocy knows no bounds. Have you already forgotten what Vaclav did? No? Maybe? He demonstrated the threat the legacy presents to the entire world. Now that everyone knows legacy is a powerful weapon, every country out there wants to get their hands on it. Or at least to prevent anyone else from doing so. We haven't seen any signs of that kind of activity yet, but if anything, that fact makes it all the more suspicious. In all likelihood, every country in the world has been preparing in secret and keeping a close eye on the situation. Vaclav's actions thrust the legacy into the spotlight and it became difficult for anyone to make any moves. We believe they sent ninjas in order to avoid taking action out in the open. So did every country send a group of ninja or is it just one country? I won't let them use the legacy for war. Seno! Oh my god, can we move on with this? I ain't gonna stand by and let them say please with my home. They wish to make legacy the power of the fairness. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, people will be after Cheryl again. Hey, bring him on. We'll protect her. Don't worry, Cheryl. Blah, 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 blah. Settle down, you two. Should not suspect ninjas. What a lively group. Is this why you called us here today to tell us about the situation? That's not all. There's also something I'd like you to do. Seems some suspicious figures have been spotted coming and going around the area where the Orsorn village used to be. As you well know, where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Could I ask you to look into it? It's highly probable that's where the ninjas are hiding. Where the Orsorn village used to be. Which means this may be a little more than just scouting around. If the people spotted there are in fact ninjas, we'd like you to determine who hired them. Now I think I understand why you called us. We're the only people on board who actually fight. Would you do this for us? There's no one else we can turn to. Understood. Is everyone alright with this? They might be after Shirley, right? We can't just ignore them. Families gotta look out for each other. Family, huh? I guess that makes Will the old man and G girl the mom. Leave them like an older sister. Oh, I'm fine with being the mom, then the other sister, blah, blah, blah. Hurry this along, please. Well, sure, you got a daughter already. Yeah, well. There wasn't protection at the time. My, my, you seem like you're having a good time. Madam, please, don't encourage her. Alright, then, time to hunt to some ninjas. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, once in a while, you could at least pretend to act seriously.